dive into questions. Yeah, exciting time of year for us. Um, obviously, our purple and orange scrimmage today, I, I felt went really well. Um, just a terrific crowd. I mean, it's what feel like temperatures about 45, and our fans showed up to support us today, and that's that's special. Um, not a lot of programs get you know thousand people out to watch them do a preseason scrimmage. So um, very fortunate to have <coughs> our fan base and and people that support us and. And then the game itself, I thought our team came out and, and uh, executed the first couple innings really well offensively. Um, our pitching um, pitched out of a few jams, um, some bright spots there. Of course, our hitters have a little bit of advantage. They've seen our pitches for the last four weeks and um, some of them for the last two or three years. So um, hitters definitely a little bit more advantage today. But uh, I love the, the way our team competed. A um, few mistakes that we need to clean up a little bit before we open up next week, but uh, just a super exciting time of year for us. Um, really love our team, uh, the camaraderie, the cohesiveness that they've shown um, in the preseason has been special, and, and I got a lot of talent. Um, looking forward to a, a great start to the season. What is the different, biggest difference for people to see between this team and what maybe we've seen the past year or two? Well, I think experience, you know, everybody's a year older and, and uh, you know, we've got some great new additions, some, some freshmen that are really um, doing well and a couple of uh, transfers, grad transfer, Lindsey Garcia from Auburn and, and then Alex Brown, a shortstop third baseman from North Carolina. So um, they're helping us fill, fill a few holes with the graduation of Caroline Jacobson and Allie Micklish last year. And, um, our pitching staff is is the same. You know, we've added a freshman, Olivia Duncan, but uh, everybody's returned and, and uh, pitchers are doing really well. And, you know, I think um, from an offensive standpoint, you know, we got power up and down the lineup. We got a little bit more speed, I think, through the lineup this year. And, um, you know, defensively is, is something that we're continuing to work on and, and uh, we got to get a little bit better. But uh, I like the way we play defense as well. John uh, McKenzie's. Uh, got left off the all-ACC preseason team. How has that affected her? I can only imagine the motivation that gives her. Yeah, it definitely gives her motivation. I think, you know, preseason team is, is you know, the coaches vote. Obviously, we can't vote for our own players. But, uh, you know, a lot of it is uh, batting averages from last year and RBIs. McKenzie brings so much more than that. You know, as her coach, you see the plays that she makes defensively, the assists that she makes in the outfield throwing. And um, she's a spectacular five-tool player for us. And, and hopefully she uses that as some motivation this year to, to prove some people wrong. You've already mentioned Olivia, but with her, who are some of the other freshmen that we could see? Yeah, Julia Noller played first today. Um, big bat for us, and uh, she's had some big hits for us this fall. Kylie Johnson's another freshman. She was in the outfield today. Dynamic player, good speed, good power. Um, and then Duncan, of course. and. Uh, a few more Kennedy uh, aerials and outfielder that could see some playing time. Riley Burton, a catcher, third baseman. Um, so got a lot of freshmen, and, and they're being freshmen right now, so we're breaking them in. But uh, looking forward to seeing how they grow and develop. Haley Whitesides as well had the home run. Freshman, upstate. Okay, <clears throat> kind of what have you seen from her? Yeah. Um, Haley is just a, just a hard worker. She's developed every year she's been in our program. Um, you know, she, she started as a pitcher utility, and now she's primarily an infielder, but uh, really put chills up everybody's back today to, to watch her hit that home run. She's such a hard worker and, and big part of our team, and um, so that was special for her. But, um, you know, she's a great option, you know, um, as a hitter and a, as an infielder for us. Knowing that you guys want to finally break through this year and get to the World Series, having the veteran experience that you have with Miller, Millie, Valerie, Mackenzie, Aaliyah, all these players with so much experience, how does that help you guys as you look to reach your ultimate goal? Yeah, you know, to have a pitching staff like we have, um, it's pretty special. You know, they all <coughs> complement each other well, um, different types of pitchers, uh, different velocities. Um, you know, they hit their spots really well, change speeds really well. Um, you know, they, they work really hard on their defense, so they feel their positions really well. Um, but as a coach, it gives us um, the ability to give teams different looks. Um, you know, certainly there are games where we may pitch by committee this year a little bit, you know, where um, we have a starter, a, a middle reliever, and a closer, you know, very similar to baseball, which is, 
you don't do that a lot in fast pitch softball, but that's certainly an option for us this year. But our pitching staff complements each other really well. They're all uh, really hard workers, great teammates, and, and um, looking for big things out of our pitching staff again this year. Uh, Valerie Cagle uh, was named number one player in the country by Softball America. Um, how is she able to keep that in perspective and not let that become too big? I mean, it seems like she doesn't really care about us expectations. <laughs> yeah, you know, Valerie's uh, she's a little bit of a different cat, you know, and, and certainly, you know, to be honored with the National Player of the Year is, is something special. And, you know, I'm, cer I'm certain she has some expectations going in, you know, this year and, and uh, you know, how she copes with that is, is you know, a work in progress, you know, but, uh, you know, she's just such a consistent player, whether it's pitching, hitting, hitting for power, um, fielding, playing first base. Um, there's no question that she's a, a, you know, a generational type talent and, and as a coach and as her teammates, it's really fun to watch her play every day. But, um, you know, I think the biggest thing Valerie has to do is, is really understand that last year's over and this is a whole new year and everybody starts zero zero and, and uh, just go out and enjoy her last year playing college softball and compete the best of her ability. And, and that's all we can ask of her. And I think that's all she can ask of herself. I guess are there any ways you feel like she can improve? Like how do you coach the best player? <laughs> <laughs> it, well, yeah, after last year, you know, I think there's certainly some areas, you know, um, you know, defensively, you know, it's, it's, you know, she's just such a talent, you know, and it's hard kind of going between pitching at first base, but um, I think she can improve a little bit there. Um, obviously offensively, she put up great numbers last year. Um, but, you know, you're always going to strive to get better and, and maybe, you know, not be so hard on herself, you know, when she, when she doesn't have success and be able to release some of her failures and refocus and reload real quick. But, um, you know, other than that, you know, she's, she's just such a terrific talent and, um, you know, she's such a hard worker that, you know, she's going to just get better by the fact that she's in a fifth year, she's more mature, she's been through almost every, you know, situation you can be in except getting over that last hump to do the World Series. How do you not, you guys not pressurize that in terms of getting to that? Well, I think you, you know, I mean, obviously it's, it's standing there in front of us, you know, we have kind of a mantra this year that we're going to knock down the door and, you know, you can't hide from it, you know, so we understand that this is a game that, you know, you, you got to face reality sometimes and you know as such a young program we've been so close you know we've been to super regionals the last two years that you know it is it is our goal you know and and we're we, we talk about it um you know we we prepare for it and and we expect to be there and that's a little bit different than maybe last year or two years ago you know where we're hoping to be there now it's it's an expectation and and you know it's reality we're, we're facing it head on and that's where we want to go as a coach, when you watch Valerie play, do you do you sometimes forget in the moment that you got a Valerie playing for you, and you're just kind of going through the motions of coaching, trying to manage the game, those kind of things? And maybe when you sit back, you think about, man, she's really special. I've enjoyed watching her all these years. <laughs> oh, no doubt. You, you know, as a coach, you sometimes become a fan. You know, I mean, today her last at bat, game tied. You know, purple and orange scrimmage, but still, it's a tie game. She comes up, comes up, and hits the to go ahead home run. So I've seen that plenty of times in, in her career. So nothing ever surprises me. But yeah, there's a lot of times where I become a fan and actually, you know, just enjoy watching her play and compete. And um, that that will never get old. I mean, I'm so happy that she's a Clemson Tiger and, and obviously she'll be in the record books forever. But uh, we're going to enjoy, you know, watching her play one more year and, and uh, hopefully we can all reach our final goal and get to that World Series and win a championship. Coach, last year she kind of struggled late in games on the mound, mm -hmm. uh, giving up some runs. How much you contributed that to her rehabbing from the shoulder surgery versus her just relaxing and just enjoying the moment? Yeah, I think, you know, it, it's a long season. You know, I think she's a little tired last year. I don't think it had anything to do with the injury. I think we were facing some very good teams on the road, um, you know, with Liberty and Virginia Tech and then, you know, facing Auburn here in a, in a tough game and, and pulling out game two of the regional to send us to the super regional and then facing Oklahoma last year. I thought, you know, um, hitters are prepared. You know, there's, there's a lot of information, a lot of video out there. So hitters, you know, prepare for us. And, and you know, during late part of the season, um, it's almost like you have to reinvent yourself a little bit. And I, I think she's learned from that. Uh, Coach Jamison does a great job with our pitching staff. and. You know, you, you kind of live through these 
games and moments in time and, and you get better and, and learn from your experiences. And that's, you know, hopefully what we're going to do this year. And, and hopefully Valerie continues to, to work on that for, for the stretch run this year as well. Coach, what are some of the biggest messages that you take from the Super Regional in order to break down a door or kick in a door this yeah. year? I think the biggest thing is, you know, that time of year you have to play free. You can't play with a bunch of weight on your shoulders and expectations. You go out and play the game. You know you've prepared yourself. Um, there's a reason you're, a reason you're in that game. It's because you've worked and, and earned a, a, a spot in the Super Regional. And, and so as a coach, you want your team to go out, like I said, play free and, and uh, you know, play relaxed and, and compete and have a, have a fun time. Well, Leah was telling us about Alex and Lindsay, and they're completely opposite personalities mm -hmm. with their roommates. I guess what have they brought as, as teammates and also as players, as programs? Yeah, well, first, they're very high character kids, and they're, you know, their work ethic, they work extremely hard, both in the weight room, in the classroom, and on the field. And, and that's somewhere, you know, or something that, you know, in the transfer portal, we've really looked at not only how um, a player can help us on the field, but what type of people are that they are, and, you know, are they good students? Um, you know, they have a high character, like I mentioned, and certainly Lindsay and Alex bring all of those characteristics with them. And um, they're just fun to coach. They're really good softball players. They're experienced, um, both a little different, you know, um, personality-wise and, and softball-wise, you know. Um, but they've added a, a huge dynamic to our team and really going to help us this year. Is Lindsay kind of an energy person or kind of like what does she bring to Yeah, that? I mean, energies are – you know, it's something we ask all our players to bring, but Lindsay definitely has, you know, a personality where she's more outgoing and um, Alex is more reserved and, um, you know, a little bit more quiet. So, yeah, a little bit of dif different personalities there. Coach, can you elaborate a little bit on the challenges opening up in Clearwater, the group you're going to be playing against, and then moving on to Mexico? Yeah, you know, certainly we've, we've got a tough schedule opening the season. Um, I think 11 of our first 13 games are against postseason teams last year. Um, so that's a challenge for us, and we're looking forward to that. Florida, you know, first games of the year is is uh, always exciting, and, you know, you're prepping, you know, really all January for the first week of the season, so we know who we're going to play. We've got plenty of scouting reports on them, and, and uh, just really excited to get out and compete against another team. Any other questions for Coach? Hey, thank you all for showing up. We appreciate it. We don't we don't take you all for granted. So we, we <laughs> love the coverage. I was part of softball when nobody showed up. So <laughs> thank you guys. Appreciate right, it.